Hello everybody, today's dish is going to be aloo pies or potato pies. Ingredients needed are going to be some onions or just one onion, some garlic, I have about five cloves here, a hot pepper, some shadow penny, some yeast, jeera powder, ground jeera powder, some potatoes, baking powder, flour, salt, black pepper, and some brown sugar. You can also incorporate any type of all-purpose seasoning or any of the flavoring seasonings that you like. You're also gonna need some pimento peppers and a little bit of oil for this. Let's get started. First things I'm going to do is chop up all of these seasonings very finely. Okay, so here are our ingredients cut up. We have our pimento peppers, the shadow penny, the hot pepper. I only use about 75% uh, of it here. So you can choose to cut up the whole thing if you like. And also the onions and the garlic so I did go ahead and wash and clean my potatoes so I'm gonna get myself a nice deep pot and fill it up with water all right so this is my pot here and these are my potatoes I have about mm, seven potatoes here they're like between small and medium size I'm gonna turn on the stove I'm gonna add these potatoes to the water and bring it to a boil and essentially you want to bring your tomato sorry i think i'm saying tomatoes uh you want to bring your potatoes to fork tender you don't want them to be the consistency of mashed potatoes you still want them to have a bit of texture so this can go anywhere between 30 to 40 minutes depending on your potatoes and the pot so when this does start boiling i'm going to cover the pot so while we are waiting for our potatoes to come up to, your bo to a boil, we're going to start with our dough. I'm going to be making a pretty large portion here. So I'm going to start with three cups of flour. Two tablespoons of baking powder. Two tablespoons of salt. Two teaspoons of brown sugar. And a half of teaspoon of instant yeast. And now mix them together. I'm going to moist them together because I have meals now I have my water over here to the side it's two cups of water slowly and gently I'm gonna pour my water into my dough and attempt to form a nice soft dough ball the method to this is just adding your water very slowly so that you don't kind of overpower yourself and overwhelm yourself with the dough. So essentially you're mixing your dough in a kind of folding motion. All right, and I'm gonna come back to you guys when it's all done because doing this one-handed is extremely hard. Alrighty, so our ball is done. I'm going to place a cloth over it and let it sit for about 20 minutes. I'm just using a damp paper towel to uh, cover it. Our potatoes are now boiling, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt to it and cover the pot. All right guys, so I can't remember how long this has been going, but I'm just gonna test out the potatoes. I have a fork here and I'm just gonna try to push my fork into the potatoes and these are so done. So I'm just going to take these off. As you can see, they're just going right in and falling off. I don't want them to get any softer. So I'm going to strain these or drain them and then put it to the side and allow them to cool. After they cool, I'm going to peel them of all the skin. All right, so while my potatoes are cooling off and the dough is still resting, we're going to start sauteing that all those seasonings that we cut up earlier. So get yourself a saute pan or a frying pan and add some oil to it and essentially this is what's going to be flavoring your potatoes 
when your oil is nice and hot, you can go ahead and start with adding in your seasonings. I'm going to start with my onion. The pimento peppers. Shadow gunny and the hot pepper. Last but not least, the garlic and whatever leftover onions that are in there. You can saute this anywhere from two to three minutes. You want to get these seasoning nice and soft. This is what's going to be giving flavor to your potatoes, like I said before. I'm going to go in here with some black pepper. gonna let it sit until everything gets nice and tender over on this side I just lightly dusted my surface and I caught my hands in some flour here's our dough here that was sitting before I'm gonna take this out and we're now gonna be separating our dough into smaller balls okay so I'm just going to take the dough between my two fingers and really strong arm it out and separate it into doughs here sorry into balls now this is a little bit big for the dough but I am going to be separating them into smaller balls after this so as you guys can see here, my dough is a little bit sticky and that's probably just because I added a little bit too much water. But instead of adding flour to the dough, I'm just going to lightly roll it in that dust of flour that you see there. And then when I am pressing it out, I'm gonna add a little bit of flour as well so I don't uh, make my dough stiff by putting it in the bowl. What I'm gonna do now is separate these bigger balls as you can see here into smaller ones. So I'm just going to just kind of take off a piece like this and then roll them into the size that I am looking for. All right, so in total we have three, six, nine, twelve, thirteen dough balls, so it'll be thirteen pies. I'm gonna allow this to sit maybe for fifteen minutes my seasonings over there this is what they're looking like at this point they're all nice and sauteed down what i'm going to do is i'm going to allow these to rest and then check on my potatoes which hopefully by now are all cool and peel them the potatoes are all peeled um now we're going to take that same fork that we had and just start to mash the potatoes break them up and um I know some people would ask, like, you can use a potato masher if you like. Keep mashing. Until there's no chunks left. What I'm going to do now is those seasonings that we had sauteed earlier. We're going to add that to the potatoes. So this is where a lot of the flavor is going to be coming in. Mix that in. You can kind of see the difference in colors as well. So now you can taste this for salt. This has such good flavor going on. I'm gonna add some black pepper because I love black pepper. Some salt. And a half a teaspoon of jeera. And mix that all in. All right, so now our filling is all done, okay? So we're gonna move over to those balls we created before. Now, you can use a rolling pin if you like. I'm gonna just use my fingers because I really want these to puff out. A dough ball. All right, and I'm gonna take this one. I'm gonna flatten it out. 
Now ideally you do wanna use your fingertips, but since I have the nails and they'll be in the way, I'm using the palm of my hand. Your hands with some flour. All right, so this one is gonna be really massive. Let's see how big it is. Now what you can do is mold your filling in your hand before you put it in your dough, or you can just put it inside of the dough like this. I'm just gonna do this and mold it here because what you're creating is just a little pocket for your potato filling, right? So fill. And now that you have it here, you're gonna take both sides and seal it at the top. So bring both sides up to the middle like that and you're just gonna squeeze and pull up just slightly. You don't wanna pull up too much because you might create a hole. The dough is still very soft and you don't want to create a hole because then that means potato filling is going to be squeezing um falling out when you start frying as you can see there i'm making a seal and i did actually create a hole there if you guys can see i'm just going to try to fix that i just think i have too much filling in here i'm going to try to squeeze it it's very hard to do with nails you know all right, so now I have my filling. I'm gonna just squeeze, 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 squeeze to kind of just distribute the filling and boom, there's my pie. And if you wanted, you could even pull on it a little bit to elongate it, how those pies really look, they're very long and oblong, all right? So I'm just gonna set that aside and do that for the next ones. So you're gonna take yourself your dough ball And they're all done they're all filled so i'm going to prepare now our pan for the frying process so now we're going to go into our frying process so get yourself a skillet or a pan or something that you use for frying add some oil and you don't want to add too much oil just enough that it can cover about half of the pie all right so when your pot your dish is nice and hot you're going to go ahead and add in your pie Just throwing that oil on the top. And keep an eye on the bottom edge of your pie. When it starts to get nice golden brown, then you'll flip it to the other side. Oh, look at that shape, really pretty. All right, and now allow them to brown. Light, but you can flip it. And pretty much I'm just gonna do the same exact step for all of them and then I'll come back to you at the end. Over to the right here, I have a paper towel lined plate. So I'm gonna be placing my pies when they're done over onto here to drain off that excess oil. You guys have it. This is our aloe pies. And let's just get into it a little bit. But if you want, slice this open, add your pepper sauce, tamarind sauce, um, garlic sauce, anything inside of there. 